What's up guys? Just want to give you an update on my brother's ball pythons. Give me one sec. Alright. So here we have the pin stripe with the one solid stripe. Doesn't break anywhere from the head all the way to the tail. Getting pretty big. I think we got him, he weighed like 50 grams. Something like that. Now he's up there, he's like buck 50. One, let's see. Oh, let's see here. One twenty six, so not bad. Definitely me myself was never into ball pythons. I always thought they're not lame but just boring. <laughs> but uh since my brothers had them I definitely they definitely changed my mind. See that long stripe there? Almost looks like a genetic stripe. Yeah, so like, like I said, I mean, I starting to definitely like them more, learn all the genetics of them and stuff like that. And uh, here we have the pastel. The big girl. Definitely doesn't look like a normal pastel though. Looks like maybe like a super. Uh, Jeremy T from J and D Reptiles was uh, at my local store the other day, and he told my brother that it looks like a lemon pastel. I guess because of the head stripe. So this girl is huge. I think we got her. She was maybe a hundred. Now she's at uh, two thirty-nine. You can really see the contrast against that bowl there. How uh, she's just like super yellow. Most yellowest snake I've ever seen in my life. Besides being an albino. But yeah, definitely huge. Good size too. So let's put this girl back. back in her house. Nice clean belly too by the way, all white. So then, this is the uh, rack all finished. It's a, it's a mess right now, I got shit all over it. But So we added a few more, few more uh, shelves. So hold some hatchling racks up top. 28, one, uh, two, four, six, eight. It would hold like eight. Then down here we have uh, change the pixie frog's cage over to a tub just for uh, easier cleaning. Free up some space. Uh, yeah, that's the pixie frog. Pixie. Female pastel. Pastel. Normals. So we got all the banding on it. It's, a, it's an awesome rack. Got the heat up in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that back there. That is the. What the hell is it called? That's the 6 inch Ultra Therm heat pad. It's a 6 inches wide. One's across every shelf. It's 30. It's like 38 inches long, so or 40 inches long is why it's curled up. But it runs the whole length of the thing, all the way. Awesome ass heating pads. And then just here's the cord runs up, plugs in the wall back there. It's actually plugged into the Zilla one. Until we get a chance to go to the next White Plains show, we're gonna get a. A helix, or he's gonna get a helix or a herps out or something. Maybe a VE. So, yeah, I forgot to show you guys the rack, the ball pythons, the jellies in there, fresh out of shed. Two negatives in shed. It still looks fucking badass.
as you can see here. Definitely want to get some kind of new snake at the next show. Not really sure. Maybe a ball python. Not really positive. To be honest with you guys, what I've been really wanting is uh, a kind of having these ball pythons makes me want like a berm or something. <laughs> Maybe a Burmese. My local store has a a baby granite, so I don't know. Have to check it out again. I have to. Um, to figure it out and decide what I want to do. If not, maybe some kind of red tail, albino or something. Just I just want to move on to. Want to I want to own an actual big snake. So, but yeah. So thanks for checking it out and uh, peace.